Good morning. Welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus. Pray you're enjoying our devotions as we get together each and every morning. I was thinking about the mind and how the mind serves this dual purpose in the spiritual world. It's a garden and it's a battlefield. And it seems like both sides are locked into this eternal struggle to try to plant seeds in our lives and to fight for your day and to fight for your destiny. See, God plants seeds of love, compassion, spiritual growth for your true path and purpose in life. And God only wants the best seeds planted in your garden. But then there's the other side. And Satan is over there planting seeds of doubt, feelings of being unworthy, of grace and fear, unforgiveness. He's planting all this seed of unworthiness in your life that maybe will isolate you and keep you from being all you need to be. See, the difficulty is, is that we are born into this sinful world. And so sometimes it comes natural to give our attention and our light in our life to those fleshly seeds and let them grow in our lives instead of the ones that God is trying to plant. Now when we do that, it seems like our light for Christ is much dimmer and we are stuck and unable to really move forward in life. And the reason we are stuck is because those seeds that the enemy is trying to plant, no matter how much light, no matter how much energy, No matter how much of your life you give to them, they will always keep you in the same place and never allow you to bear good fruit. But when we accept Christ as our Savior and the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of us, then the Bible says that the old person should begin to die. We have to realize that the new person, the one covered by the blood of Christ, gives us all power over Satan and this world. And we need to adapt to a new way of thinking and spend more time developing the right seeds in our lives. If we shine our light on the seeds of God, not only will those seeds grow, but they will start to bear fruit. And once they begin to bear fruit, they will allow us to experience a life that we would otherwise never know. It's a simple concept, really. It's never an easy one, but it's always a simple one. So today I want to pray a prayer. I want each and every one of us to be engaged in this prayer today. Today, let's just say, Lord, we seek your heart for personal growth in the weakest parts of our lives. Those areas where we are weak, we call on you to make us strong. We claim your power to keep us focused, to help us to see what is beyond the veil and beyond what we can see. There are shadows within our lives that need more light. There are seeds that need to grow that we have not been paying attention to. Lord, we need more clarity. We need more revelation. So shine into those areas, Lord, and show us what needs to go and what needs to remain. Only then, Lord, will we become the people that you have always wanted us to be. We claim this morning Psalm 51 and verse number 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Today, all we need is Jesus Christ the Lord. Nothing more, nothing less, and nothing else will ever do. Lord, we claim this prayer and claim this right to have the right seeds grow in our life to produce the best fruit and the best life possible. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. I pray that you receive that prayer this morning i pray that you pay attention to those things that god is trying to grow in your life and not those things that the enemy is trying to plant in your life you be safe you be strong and you always be blessed and be that person today that says lord i want you to develop and grow the things in me 
that will make me a better person for you and for the world around me. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, as always, have a great day.